Hello, welcome to the Ocean Dimensions Manta presentation. We usually do this presentation to our guests in the Maldives during Manta season. That runs May to November. But due to everyone being stuck at home, we thought we would bring the presentation to you. First off, a question. All of these are rays, but which one is a Manta? We'll go through them to find out. A is an eagle ray. They're a bit smaller than a manta, normally they're about 1.5 metres, but they do beat their triangular wings similar to a manta. They have a pointy face to help them dig in the sand for food, and their mouths are on the underside of their bodies. They have a very long tail with a barb to defend themselves. We often get baby eagle rays in our lagoon. So B is a stingray. There are many different types of stingrays, but they all tend to have a round shape and their eyes on top of their head, and again, the mouth on the underside. They swim by rippling their body instead of beating their wings. It is very common to see them on the sea floor, and they too have a stinger that they use to defend themselves. Now, C looks like a manta, but it's actually a mobula array, a very close relative of the manta. They are also known as devil rays, as they look like they have horns. They also have triangular wings that beat, and their eyes are located on the sides of their head. However, you can tell them apart from mantas, as their mouths are set much further back, and they tend to be smaller than mantas. They have a tail, but no stinger. So finally, D must be the manta, but we'll go through its features in a second. Another question, do you think a manta ray is a fish because it lives in the water, a bird because it beats its wings like a bird, a whale because they're so big, or even a dinosaur? Well, it's definitely not a dinosaur, nor is it a whale, absolutely not a bird. So, it's a fish. Mantas are part of the shark, skates and ray family. They share the trait of all being cartilaginous, meaning they do not have any bones, they are made from cartilage. This giving them a larger range of movements, as they are not restricted by a bony skeleton. It does make them very hard to age though. Something we get asked a lot is, are mantas dangerous? Due to their big size in relation to stingrays, people often think they are. But in fact, mantas are completely harmless. They do not have a stinger, nor do they have big teeth. This photo is definitely photoshopped. They do have teeth, but they are not as big and sharp as this. They are more like sandpaper, and they only ever use them while mating. So, this is what a manta looks like. They have eyes on the side of their heads. They have a mouth that's very big and it's where the plankton goes in. They have special cephalic fins that they can uh, ravel up when they're swimming or unravel when they're feeding. It helps to funnel in the plankton. They have gills, five of them like most sharks do. This is to help filter out the water. They also have gill plates. These are very important as they act like sieves that help to filter out all the plankton which they then move towards the back of the mouth that uh, will eventually go down into the stomach. They have big pectoral fins which they use to swim and then a tail but like I said before no stinger. So that's part one. Uh, make sure that you look out for part two and we will talk about the different types of manta where you can see them what they eat and how they eat. So thank you for listening.